Hey cuties, I'm Lenikia and you're watching what happened on the soaps. Today is Wednesday, May the 11th, 2022. And this is what happened on the soaps, the young and the restless edition. All right. It wasn't that much, so I'm not going to hold you long at all. Um, Okay, let's go to Sharon. So everyone has gathered at Sharon's home, all of the kids as well as Nick, um, because they are on their way to Ray's memorial service. It's very small, very intimate. Not a lot of people will be there at all. Um, and then they get a knock at the door and it's Chelsea. And she's there because she wants to know because she go to the service as well. She didn't know if it was just family or what it was, but she heard about it and she wanted to know because she attend. Mariah tells her, well, it's really just family and like Chance and Abby because they were the partners. And Sharon says, no, no, no. You can attend because you cared for Ray and he cared for you as well. And so he will want you to be there. So she does end up going, we don't see any of the service. I said, well, dang, y'all been playing in this service and we didn't get to see none of it. Anyways, we don't get to see any of the service, but we, um, when they go back to the house, they all just share moments and memories of Ray and how he helped. And Chelsea said, you know, he was so wonderful with Connor. Um, now all of them try to tell Sharon, we'll go with you to Miami. And she said, no, it's the last trip she and Ray are going to get to take alone. And she just wants to be alone. Understand that. And they were like, yes, we understand. And so everyone, you know, gets up and there goes home and Sharon just looks at the picture of Ray. And then we see Mariah and Tessa like happy that the wedding is happening because it's helping Sharon. They see she gets lighter whenever she talks about them getting married. Um, and then we see Chelsea who is feeling bad. Um, not because she says, Ray, I, that was more that I needed to say. Not only were you great with Connor, but you were also great with me and you became a great friend. And she said, I hate to say this, but there was more to our friendship than just, um, it was leading to more. And she said, but I would have felt guilty for doing that to Sharon because she's a good woman and she doesn't deserve that. So Chelsea is feeling bad about her, for herself saying like, when is it my turn? When do I get to have the guy and everything? Um, so that was them um, on today's episode. And then we go to Michael and Lauren. So Michael and Lauren are talking. They've came come back from, a, a, I guess, a little a, a exotic vacation they went on. And she is telling him, I do not want you working for Victor. And he says, listen, I'll start working for Victor and I'll retire if you retire. Because she was talking retirement. He said, if you could. And he was like, and I mean fully retire, like hang it all up because you wouldn't be able to stop working. And she and she doesn't say anything. But the look on her face is like, you know, he said, that's my answer. You couldn't do it either. He said, we're still in our prime. I said that way. He said, we're still in our prime and I still want to work. I still want to do things. I still want to be out there and I still want to work for Victor. I know you're afraid, but he said, now that Ashlyn Locke has um, been kicked out of the company, you know, and everything, it's much safer for me. And I want to work. I enjoy what I do. And so she doesn't 100% agree with Well, she don't agree with this at all. But she says, you know, I can't ask you to do something that I'm not willing to do. She just wish he would just not be with Victor because, you know, she's thinking about what happened to him in Peru being um, taken as a prisoner and everything. And I, I, I get it. All right. So Michael just tells her, you know, we're still in our prime. Let's just enjoy it. And if things come up and it's too dangerous with Victor or if it's out of the way, out of the question, then I we will revisit this conversation. But right now we're still in our prime. Let's just enjoy our lives for what it is right now. So she says, all right, but she's not still, you know, not 100 percent agreeing with him. So then he goes to the bar. And when he goes to the bar, he sees Diane. Now, Diane is still outside at the bar because she's met with Kyle. And Kyle has let her know that he's leaving for Milan. And she says, well, what can I do? Who can I apologize to? With? What can I say? And he says, it's not one thing. I need to know that I can trust you. And right now, I don't know that. He said, there's no one thing that you can do to make this all better. And he said, plus, I have to think about Summer and I have to think about Harrison. And she said, Harrison. And he said, uh-uh, ma'am, you're not going to meet him right now. He said, he's been through a lot in his young life. And right now, he doesn't need me putting extra on him. And he told her, I will always put my son first. And she said, 
I understand what you're, you know, she didn't know what he was trying to say. Like, unlike you, I'll always put my son first. She said, I was trying to do that, but then I got selfish or whatever. And he, she says, well, do I need to go back to LA? And he said, you do what you want to do. He said, but I would suggest you mend fences here. And she said, well, who? And he was like, whoever you feel like you need to mend fences with. But he's going back to see Summer is what he told her because he needs that support system around him. And he needs her. Uh, he needs a person to bounce these ideals off of and who better than his wife. Um, we all know he's coming back because the May 13th is the wedding. All right. So then we see um, we see. Um, my Diane is sitting there drinking and Michael comes up and it was so funny because he was he ordered his drink from Drew and he looked over and he was like what and he looked over again and she said yes it's me and he's just like how and she's so she tells him you know the story and how she's been seeing people and they've been giving her the business so she said you go ahead too and he says no I'm happy to see you and she was like really and he was like, you know, he knows she's getting a business from everybody else. Everyone is letting her have it. And he was like, I'm I'm happy to see you. Um, and that's pretty much it. They just sit down and they start talking. But baby, hey, Phyllis came out there and she looking like, uh, excuse me, what is going on here? <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. So then that brings me to um, Allie and Jack. So Allie goes to Jack's home and she's visiting with him, of course. And of course, yesterday she broke down and started crying. And he's like, Allie, what's going on? You know, and she tells him that her mom came into a town um, to, but it was just for legal documents. All she did was sign the state and she came in, signed the papers and left first thing at the crack of dawn the next morning. No, Mela. So she never, they never had a conversation. She said, I would have liked to know, did she know more about you? Did she know anything more about my dad's relationship, what he, how he felt towards you, anything? She said, but no. And she said, and I was also hoping that this would bring us closer together and we would have a relationship or something. And she said, but you know, that's out of the question. I, and I get that now. And so she just breaks down and starts crying to Jack because she just feels bad. She wants a relationship with her mom that she's not getting. And the close person that she was with was her dad and he's gone now. And she said, and she told Jack, I just, I, after going through that with my mom, I just, it made me think of you and I just wanted to come see you. And of course, you know, Jack loves family. So he was like, I'm so glad that you reached out. I'm here for you. And he says, I know the relationship with your mom is complicated. I'm not going to push you for additional information or answers. You'll give that whenever you feel comfortable. He said, but I'm here for you. This is your, we are your family and we, the, we are here for you. We're always going to be here for you and everything. And it's nice that she has that because she no longer has chemo. Now, y'all, please don't make Allie be into some shady stuff. I really like the way this young lady acts. I think I was like, okay, we're trying to get you an Emmy, daytime Emmy next year. But anyways, don't let her be into some shady stuff. Let this be just a nice reunion. So then Kyle comes in and Kyle is like, oh, I'm sorry. I, you know, Get, get didn't get to spend more time with you or throw at your reunion with the family and she says no it's fine and she says um i want to let you know i had nothing to do with diane taylor or whatever and they are like you know we already know it, you had nothing to do with that and so they add jack says we're about to go to the society and get something some dinner do you want to go and kyle lets him know that he's going back to Milan and he says why did Diane do something he said no I you know I just want to be with Summer I just want to be with Summer and Jack said it feels like you just got here and he literally did <laughs> but we all know he's coming back so it's not that big of a deal he said I just want to be with Summer and think and everything Oh, and Diane asked Kyle for a hug, and he did give her a hug and, and everything like that. And so that was uh, Young and the Restless today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because you know your girl is trying to grow the channel. All right, I'll see you um, on the next time for the new edition of What Happened on the Soaps, Young and the Restless. Be sure you're checking out my spoilers as well and drop some comments.